Bro, listen to this dog. But hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my videos. Now, I told you guys in my last video that there was a incident with the truck. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Long story short, the truck hasn't been running right. I couldn't figure out what the issue was. I changed a couple things on the truck and the issue was still there. So I decided to take it to my mechanic, my dad's mechanic. And luckily, he was able to find the issue. The issue was the catalytic converter. It ended up getting clogged and it didn't let the engine basically let out any of the air that it was breathing in. So what he did was he removed the catalytic converter and he took it for a drive. When he took it for a drive, he said he was around 50 miles an hour when the hood decided to go straight up and open. It ended up causing the window to break. It also made some cracks in the hood due to that. So in a bit, I'll show you guys the cracks in the hood. But basically he called us back. He said he found the issue, but the issue was that there was a broken window now. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. He better have made that dude pay and he didn't. We ended up paying to get that fixed. Now the mechanic thinks we let the hood latch open and honestly, I don't know. I haven't touched or moved the truck in weeks. And I was looking at some camera footage that I have here. And the hood latch doesn't look open at all. Keep in mind guys that I also drove the truck to the mechanic. I didn't just had it towed there. I drove it there and the hood wasn't like flopping up and down like how it would if the latch was open. But long story short, we ended up paying for it. The dude was getting really defensive saying how he wasn't messing around with the hood latch or anything like that. And honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal. I just wanted my truck back. He ended up charging me $200 basically to get the window fixed. Now don't get me wrong, those $200 I could have used for something else but the way I see it is I took the truck in to get fixed it's technically fixed and that's what this video is about I wanted to give a little explanation on what happened with the truck and I also wanted to give you guys an explanation on why I decided to drive the Z speaking of the Z after today's video we're not gonna be driving it no more so now I'm not gonna throw any shame or shade to the mechanic or the shop that he works at I honestly think this was a random idiotic mistake either from my end or his end I could hold him responsible for that but I want to keep a good relationship between me and him. There's going to be days where I'm going to need my truck to get fixed. And best believe, if I can't fix it, he's the man to do it. So in today's video, I'm just technically giving you guys a truck update. I am also going to wash the truck now that we got it back. And one thing that I am very disappointed in this shop is that they still decided to leave all of the broken glass inside the car. They didn't bother to vacuum it. That really made me upset. I didn't really mind paying the two extra hundred dollars to get the window fixed as long as I got my truck back. But I was a little disappointed when they didn't go the extra mile to vacuum a car to make sure I was satisfied. So like I said in today's video, it was I'm giving you guys a little truck update. I'm also going to go ahead and wash it like I said. So make sure you enjoy today's video. Now like I said after today we're gonna be daily in this truck and I want to walk you guys through the washing process that I usually do on my cars it's gonna get dark pretty soon so I want to make sure I wash the car while we still have daylight I'm gonna be washing it right here I'm gonna have my dog outside with me so that I can have some kind of company but yeah boys I finally got my truck back I was honestly thinking that the truck was gonna need a new transmission so when the guy told us that he found the issue I was kind of relieved I was a little upset when he said the window was broken but what I ended up paying wasn't as close as what I thought I was gonna end up paying so that's the main reason I guess why I'm washing the truck because I just missed it I want to make it look nice and clean I'm gonna be daily in again so I want to vacuum the interior put some put some nice scented little trees which I got right here this right here is where I keep all of my car cleaning stuff. I'll show you guys in a bit in a little bit more detail what I'm going to use to wash my truck. So for now, let's go ahead and park it here. I'm about to show you guys my truck. Now, I know she's dirty, but she's about to get some love. I had this truck parked right over here for the longest time. I probably let her sit through one or two rainstorms and you can tell because this truck is white and there's literally black rain water smarts left behind but this right here is where it cracked as you guys can see it went past where it was supposed to go so it chipped this off because it went in there so it basically went like and it broke it and it cracked it so this hood right here it's sus now because of the crack and then we got the exact same crack over here with the exact same damages 
Now, I will say that they did a good job replacing the window. You cannot tell that this is aftermarket. It still looks all original. And I also want to show you guys under the truck because under there is where they basically fixed the issue. Now, right now, I only have a downpipe and that's pretty much it. So, I got my headers, downpipe, and then basically my exhaust. I don't have an exhaust on the truck right now. I got to take it to a shop and get somebody to make me one but let me show you guys the new catalytic converter that i bought put the truck on a jack just so that i can give you guys a better view that little tube down there is basically my headers it connects to this catalytic converter this right here was the issue on why the truck wasn't running right this was clogged and it wasn't letting any air out so we got a new one and if we follow it you'll see that we have nothing connected you can see where it ends so it's probably sitting right below. It's probably sitting right in the middle of the truck. You can see the bed right there. So basically our exhaust system only goes up to here. That is very dangerous because we're letting all of the hot heat just stay down there and it's not coming out through where it's supposed to. You can kind of see some of the black smoke build up right there because all of the air is just coming out through here. So we do gotta buy an exhaust system that can come out all the way out there but again i'm just happy that we had to replace the catalytic converter and not the transmission all right let me show you guys some of the things that i use to wash my cars now the thing i use the most is this twin one from canon from armor it all it can be used on a garden hose and a pressure washer right now i'm going to be using it on a garden hose it even includes this hose attachment so you're not just gonna get this right here you can actually get the hose attachment you don't get any of these nozzles with it so you gotta buy these separately these basically give the water a different shape or form as you spray it out this is what i'm gonna use this is how it looks once it's attached to the hose and then this right here is where you set it whether it's gonna be a pressure washer attachment or a garden hose attachment that's the switch right there, but here's how it looks once I spray some of it out. You can adjust how much foam you want coming out of here with the top nozzle, but right now I have it set to max, which is this. And then this right here is the lowest. So this is why we keep it fully open. And what I have inside of here is this Chemical Guy Citrus Washing Gloss. I seem to keep one of these in my arsenal all the time, so whenever this is empty, I end up getting another one. So I am very happy with this product. I have the two bucket method. Now in this right here, I have some water and some Diablo wheel gel. This is just diluted with this. I honestly don't know how I feel about it just yet, but as of now, from one to 10, I give it a four. Now this right here, I give it a solid eight or nine. All I'm gonna do with this is spray it on the wheel. And then I have three scrubs, which are these three right here. Two of them from Chemical Guys, which is those brushes right there. And then this pointy one is from Walmart, but I'm gonna use these to remove all of the brake dust. This is gonna loosen everything up and then the scrubs are actually gonna help me get in the nooks and crannies and then this is gonna help me keep the tools clean so that we can clean all of them properly but that's pretty much it that's what i use to clean my car eventually i plan on getting a pressure washer i also want to get some kind of washing system in here i was i was able to install air pipes so i'm pretty sure i can install some water pipes in here i want to have like a hand wash station over here or maybe over here it ended up getting dark so i'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible because i still want to bring it inside the shop and vacuum it the truck hasn't been in here in a very long time so i'm very excited to take a picture of it once it's in here but again we got to make her look nice and pretty for the picture so let's go ahead and wash it step one wake up really gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you step three you grow hard about what you want to be step four everybody just do your thing wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah. 
Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Alrighty, the truck is now all nice and clean. Now, I still haven't dried off the truck because there's this little ceramic coating that I want to apply on there. So I have my drying towels right here. But the ceramic coating that I have that I want to apply is this one right here. Now I'm gonna put a picture of what the actual brand and name of this is, but it is from McGuire's. The first day that I bought the bottle, it broke. I dropped it on the floor and it got a crack, so it started leaking and I wasn't gonna throw away $20, so I put it in this bottle. And the way you use this ceramic coating is you gotta have the car rinsed out and then this needs to be applied to it and then you dry it off. Right now the truck is still a little wet, so I'm gonna pull in the truck in here and then take the subi out. I haven't turned the subi on in a while, so this gives me a reason to turn it on and move it. And I still gotta vacuum the truck, so since we're out of daylight, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it inside here. The truck is all nice and clean on the outside. Now we just gotta worry about the inside. All right, as you guys can see, we got the truck in here now. Again, we need her to be a little wet like this so that we can go ahead and apply our coating. I gotta run and get another one, but I got more than enough to spray this car and maybe one more car. We're gonna see right now, but all I'm gonna do is spray down the whole car with this, and then I'm gonna dry it off using my microfiber towels here. And then we can move into the interior. I'll show you guys the interior in a bit, but I also wanna take the time to let the tires dry so that we can apply a tire dressing. So while we clean the inside, the tires can dry off. Let's just go ahead and dry her up. I just got done drying the truck, but this right now is how the truck is looking. She's honestly looking nice and clean. All that we got left to do is to clean the inside and then we should be fine. But let me show you guys the mess that these guys left behind. Okay, now right now on the driver's side, you can kind of see some of the glasses. There's a little piece right there. There's a bunch of little mini pieces. You can kind of see them, but where they are more noticeable is gonna be the passenger side and on the footrest. Now, there's a lot of little glasses in between the cracks of the seat, like that one right there. And like I said, on the footrest, there's also a lot of glass. You can see it right there. I went ahead and turned off the flash for you guys so that you guys can see. But all of that needs to get vacuumed up. But in the back seat, we have all of this Toby hair. So, I have a special tool that I'm going to use to clean that up, but the back is the worst part. Let me show you guys what I'm going to use to do that. Now, I got my microfiber towels right here. These are my interior towels. Once these get very dirty, they get moved over here, and these are now the tire towels. In here, I have anything that's going to touch the paint. But I bought this from Walmart. It's been a very good investment. I still haven't run out, and I had this for a long time. But all you do is rip these apart like paper towels. I will now demonstrate how that works. <laughs> Again, it has a pre-cut line, so you just follow it and tear it. And this right here is a brand new microfiber towel, so. Again, these are used for interior, so these are what I'm gonna use to clean the interior of the truck. And obviously, we have our interior cleaner right over here. I have two of them. This one right here is one of them. I'm not a big fan of this brand just because of this interior cleaner. It kind of let me down. I still plan on buying another product from them and then I'm gonna actually give my opinion on them. But for now, their interior cleaner is Kakita. What I really like and I keep buying, this is another thing that you're always gonna find in my arsenal, is this total interior cleaner from Chemical Guys. I got this bottle specifically to clean the interior of this truck. I love the scent that it leaves behind. It gives it like a new car smell and whenever I clean the truck and I use that and I put this, it mixes the scent and it gives it a really good smell, so. All right, I got all of the stuff here that we're gonna use to clean the interior. These two right here are gonna be my hair brushes. I got this one from Advanced Auto Parts. It was around $12, but I love this thing. And this comes in clutch because they can get it in those hard to reach areas. So I can really get in there and get all the hair out. I like to use this. This one right here, 
I used to basically attack a bigger section. This one I got from Chemical Guys. It's around 10 to 20 dollars. But this is what I'm gonna use to remove all of my pet hair, which again, I have a lot. Toby loses a lot of hair. So I'm gonna use this M18 Milwaukee vacuum. My mom got this not that long ago, but she hasn't used it once. So I decided to use it for the first time. It does come with a bunch of attachments, but this is the one that I feel like I'm gonna use the most. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna use to get this interior clean. Again, this is how the truck looks right now. I do have a mess. Let me show you guys all of the broken glass. You can see it all on the floor, even on back there. So I wanna get all of this out of here. And then in the back seat is where Toby likes to sit when we take him on a car ride. So I wanna get this area nice and clean. I wanna remove all of that pit hair. So but let's go ahead, start taking all of the trash out. And then we can go ahead and vacuum it. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 but even if I change, you can switch the gray matter like some batter in the rain That's why I say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change We arrange all the bad to a play Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a pain Take the best thoughts and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past all the pain and you'll find a door Open it up and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered and no, man, I still go Go, 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 go I just got done cleaning the back of this truck. Let me show you guys really quick. As you guys can see, we no longer have any more Toby hair. There's still quite a few in the front, but the back is mostly nice and clean. I went ahead and also cleaned the window. I even went ahead and missed the floor. Again, with the Chemical Guys cleaner. The reason I like to miss the floor is one, it's gonna give it a quick little clean. And two, it leaves a very nice scent behind, so the carpet absorbs it, and once it dries, it just keeps the smell in here, and I like it a lot. Again, this is how the truck looks, now that it's nice and clean. But now that we got this backside done, we're gonna move on to the front. So I'm gonna move the seats all the way to the back, and then I'm gonna start doing the exact same steps and it did back here, here, so let's do that next.
Alright, the interior is all nice and clean. We went ahead and put our floor mats back in there. Now, I went ahead and also missed the seats with this. So they're a little wet. We're gonna go ahead and let them dry for a bit. It's already smelling wonderful. The only thing that I want to do is put some of this black ice little tree. But dude, this interior is nice and clean. Now that we cleaned the interior, I did mention earlier in the video that I wanted to also apply a tire dressing. I want to apply two coats, but I gotta wait for the first coat to dry before I can apply the second coat. Now for my tire dressing, I am going to use this Chemical Guys VRP. It's a vinyl rubber and plastic protectant, so I like to use it on my rubber. This right here I got at Walmart. It's just a tire shine applicator. The one that I got for it right now is just really worn out. So I'm going to open up a new pack and apply our first coat. Make sure to shake the bottle. This should be good for the first coat on a single tire. All I'm doing is making sure that I got a nice even coverage all around the tire. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the rest of them and then I'm going to show you guys what I got for the truck. Alright, while we wait for that tire dressing to dry up, I want to show you guys the mod we're going to do on the truck today. Now it's not really a mod, it's more like a replacement. Yes, it is this armrest. Now I got this armrest from the junkyard. When I was trying to replace a couple things on the truck, I went to the junkyard to find them. But while I was in the junkyard finding those pieces, I came across a S10 with a very clean interior. And don't get me wrong, my interior is clean, but the armrest is broken. If you open it up, you'll see that there's a plastic cover that's supposed to be here, and it broke off. Right now, this is the only plastic left. And that's the foam that cushions it. Due to that being broken, it also caused some of the foam to fall out and just rest there. That's all foam from there. So whenever I rest my hand here, there's nothing supporting my elbow. Because again, that's cracked. And it's just a matter of time before this starts to rip and tear. So best believe when I saw this, I was very happy. Now this isn't brand new and it does have a crack. Kind of see the crack right there in the middle. It's still intact and there's nothing and there's no mess right here from the foam because it still hasn't broken through. It still hasn't broken or gone through. So this is very clean. This was around 20 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. Online, it probably would have been like 50. But while we wait for the tire dressing to dry up, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. All right, we got the armrest out. I went ahead and opened them both up so you guys can see them a little better. This one right here doesn't have a latch, but the old one does. So I'm gonna have to move this one over here. This is gonna help this keep itself close. Let's slap this bad boy on. All right, the truck is now all nice done and complete. I went ahead and added a second coat of tire dressing. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but these are looking nice and shiny. It is a little late, but I did tell you guys I was gonna let you guys hear how the truck sounds now that it only has a downpipe. So I think it sounds pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think down below, but check this out. Cold start for the boys.
All right, we're back home now. The Subi is inside the garage once again. I'm honestly very happy that the truck is now nice and clean and glass free. Now I got an oil change coming up pretty soon for the truck. So I'm finally gonna be able to switch to Mocho oil on her. So pretty excited for that. With that being said, next time you guys see me, I'm gonna be cleaning the C. I wanna do basically what I did today with the truck to the C. Exact same steps, nothing different. The only thing is we're not gonna be driving the C anymore. I'm gonna store it away and put it away now it's getting kind of chilly out and because now that we got the truck back that's what i want a daily and i don't really care much for driving to see right now the subi is my priority so once we get this done once it's done we'll be able to enjoy the sea but until then it's gonna be put away if something shows up like a cool car event, I'll take it out. But for the most part, I plan on leaving it there. Highly recommend the products I used today. I used them more than once. So I already know for a fact that they're pretty good. So, But if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, next time you guys see me, we're going to be putting the CO away. So that'll be the last time you guys see it in the channel. But until then, peace out my friends.